Vanilla ice cream is boring. Bullshit! You can do all kinds of crazy things with vanilla ice cream. I mean, yeah, if you're just eating vanilla ice cream, but there's so much potential for mix-ins. You know, I've never thought of it that like, way. Like, even something as simple I, as I was doing it one time. It was approximately, like, just three decent scoops of vanilla ice cream in a bowl. Boom. Tablespoon of peanut butter, tablespoon of jelly. Give that a good stir. Dude, Peanut that butter was... and jelly sundae. Yes! It wasn't even a sundae. It was like, it was like, oh, it was like... I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. It was good, but don't mix it up too much, because you want the occasional... You want the, ri you want the ribbon, you yeah. Want the ribbon, you want the ribbon, ribbon, the of gel of... ribbon of jelly and the occasional glob of peanut butter. Fuck yeah. You know, you're, you're actually right. Vanilla ice cream is boring by itself, but I have made a few pretty awesome combos, and in honor of my Uncle Ted, we call it the Mango Tango Sunday. Mango Sit Tango! Honestly, it's just vanilla ice cream, a sprinkle of tang, and some sliced mango, but it's fucking bomb. And it's especially good if you can get some mango syrup to drizzle over the top. Well, that's actually pretty good for you as well. It's actually, it's a, it's a quasi-health food. Well, yeah, it's, it's a I half and half. I wouldn't call it a health food, but mango is good for you, and tang does have a lot of, I think it has a lot of vitamins. Uh, vitamin C, at least. But definitely, yeah, vitamin, definitely C. vitamin C. Yeah, definitely vitamin C. Anything orange is going to give you vitamin C. And then you eat your vitamin That's C. why I always eat Velma. And then you 